Okay, welcome to the first video for this blog of the Synth and I. This is the Synth, Buqua 2000 E. And today I wanted to do a video because I need a actual real life, real time video and audio demonstration of what I've been playing with. Uh, I call it the poor man's touch controller. And basically it's a, an Akai MPD-12, or I'm sorry, MPD-16. It's a regular USB MIDI pad control unit. Actually, this is one of probably the earlier ones. Uh, so there are ones that are much better than this, much more expensive than this. In other words, this one should be dirt cheap used. Anybody can get one. It runs on USB or it actually can run on a uh, DC 9-volt uh, power supply, MIDI out, going to the Buchla. And then I'm using the uh, 225E decoder. I have basically mapped everything to bus E. Um, here's my little MIDI patch. Um, and uh, I put it in poly and I'm sending everything out for me. So pitch, velocity, and note on are all uh, just coming from that. I have, uh, for the purposes of this, I try to do it as simply as possible. I'm going into the envelope, going into the uh, VCA, and I'm going from the two VCAs, or I'm sorry, two VCOs, the 259, 259, and the 261. The first channel I have mapped up here is uh, one of the oscillators, and I'm running the velocity out of this into the velocity in of the 292. So basically what we should get is the harder I hit, the louder it is. So you can actually, if you're talented, do something a little musical. I'll leave it up to you for the uh, definition of that. Uh, so that's the first channel. The first channel is going into the velocity. We're basically controlling velocity from this. The second channel, I believe, is another one of the oscillators. With a velocity controlled attack. So I'm going into the uh, 281E and I'm controlling the attack by the velocity coming out of, again, just a single channel of the bus on the uh, 225. And uh, right now I have that on the third setting of the uh, envelope. So I imagine if we mess with it we'll get uh, other settings. Obviously you can adjust the sensitivity of that attack and so on and so forth. Uh, so you can do pretty much anything you want. Um, I just have it quick and dirty there. This one, I believe, the third channel on uh, my master module, 2070. I use a mixer for everything all the time. Is uh, attack uh, or velocity controlled decay. I should point out I have that in gate mode. Let me switch it back to uh, both low pass and gate mode. Now the uh, MPD-16 can actually uh, be programmed via your computer. I think there's a little uh, setting software that you can mess with it, decide what notes it are. It actually has what notes are assigned to which pad. It has a couple different banks of sounds, or I'm sorry, configurations. Uh, and then you also have a slider here that can operate as something or other. I have it just set up to my standard drum kit for bass, snare, and so forth that, that are just typical, uh, probably general MIDI specs. Uh, let's mix a few of these together and just see what happens. Let's put the original velocity in with the crazy decay.
as you press down, you can actually keep it going. Some of you eagle eyes may have noticed I actually have something going into the wave shaper of the second or the original uh, modulation oscillator of the 261. So you can actually hear what's going on there. So I'm controlling that via velocity as well. Soft, hard. And let's add the uh, crazy oscillator that uh, has got that crazy attack. And I'll mix it with the decay. Actually, I'm going to take the velocity out for now. So now basically I have two different oscillators. One of voltage controlling the attack. One on voltage controlling the decay. They're set up inversely so that as one goes, the other one should then shoot out. So let's see what happens. Let's add the velocity controlled oscillator in. Switch hands. right there you can kind of hear as one goes down the other goes up that's that inverse kind of proportion that's due to the way I've set the envelope uh, again you can pretty much mess with it any way you want so that's the quick poor man's touch controller pad uh, I am whacking on this thing pretty hard but you don't necessarily have to Uh, you could use a standard keyboard, of course, a standard MIDI keyboard. Uh, I actually tried one and found that the, for what I'm doing, just messing around with this nonsense, the actual MPD-16 is uh, operating a little easier for getting these kind of funky things. And I haven't even bothered to try and set up anything MIDI-wise. So perhaps once I start getting involved with that, I can get some more interesting textures going and saved by the bell.